Listen, I was a part of the movement to register black people in this country in the South to vote. I was part of that. I faced terrorist white people who threatened to kill me. They were charging that it was outside agitators who sent us there. They were charging that the Russians, communists told us to come there. We didn't have any stake of our own in the interest of our own, and so they were killing us. They bombed our churches. They assassinated leaders, et cetera. What in the hell? And they did all of this until uh, even after the passage of the 1965 Voting Rights Act that was supposed to guarantee black people the right to vote the way we wanted to vote. What in the hell is the difference in George Wallace and Bull Connor and all of those people who were attacking black people throughout the South were trying to vote, claiming that they were voting because of outside agitations and Russians than what the FBI did on July 29th when they attacked my home. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. We don't want to just lay back and let them come at us. I'm going to file a suit against the FBI for violation of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. We need money in order to do that. We need money. We need lawyers. Let's go at them. We're not running and slicking away from them because our objective is to win freedom. That's what it's all about. And they would have me not fight for the liberation of Africa and African people, but to fight for my own black ass. But the struggle for me and the struggle for the Uhura movement must be perceived and understood and fought for and made as recognition that that is a part of the struggle for the total, absolute, unequivocal liberation of every square inch of Africa and African people around the world and our unification. <laughs>